Hi there, I'm Ishan Mani reporting for Kids First, and today I'm super excited to speak with Lincoln Lambert, who plays the role of an autistic student in the 50s named Dana in the new feature film Language Arts. Born and raised in South Korea, Lincoln has worked on several acting projects including a South Korean variety show called Real Kids Story Rainbow, Criminal Minds, and others. He's now working on an upcoming short film entitled Uncle. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for speaking with me, Lincoln. No problem. Hello. So I'm curious, what drew you to performing in the film? Um, can you say that one more time, please? What drew you to like choose to act in the film? Why, oh. why did you choose to act in the film? I, I read the story and it was a really deep story and it, it was an amazing story. So we, we read the full script and it was just, it was really nice. So it, it was, <laughs> it was a, um, I felt like I just had to do it because it was, it was a true story. So it was based on a true story. So it was really, really touching. Wonderful. And what was the most difficult part of playing Dana? I mean, I assume as you're someone who does not have ASD, so how, yeah. how was that challenging for you? Well, since I have no personal experience with uh, autism or anything like that, I had to I had to focus, and so basically, I I observe and absorb things when I'm really focused. So I stopped watching everything and stopped playing anything and just focused on watching documentaries and videos of people with autism and just studied, studied all their movements. Wow, that, I mean, it, a lot goes behind every role and I'm sure for you this was a pretty research intensive one. Yes, yeah. Um, there was a, there, there's a school in Los Angeles, the Bridgeport School, and they very kindly allowed us to go in and they're a community that helps kids with autism. So yeah, we got to meet some people there. It was, it was really fun and it gave me a lot of ideas of being Dana. Yeah, I do want to ask, how were you inspired by uh, your, your time there? How did you, what did you take away from your, your time at Bridgeport? Um, so I, a lot of kids there, um, I, well, basically when I was there, I studied how they were stimming, their eye movements, some of them talked, how they talk, and just like their, their hand movements and what they would do every mm -hmm. once in a while, yeah. Interesting. And can you relate to any of the situations that Dana experiences in the film? Dana does get bullied quite a bit in the film because of who he is, but he has a really great friend that helps him through it. And in the beginning, he can't speak. He's a nonverbal, um, he, he's nonverbal. So, but his friend helps him able to speak like loops is his like first word. And it helps him, helps him become stronger. I see just how, how like you have good friends and there's always going to be people to help you and there's always going to be people who are against you and just, just try to, not everybody's gonna like you and there's always people that will help you. So just that's, that's what I really need to. Great. And uh, how was your rapport with Mickey Rowe, who plays, um, you know, the son of um, the, the main character? How was, how was your rapport with him, the other characters, uh, the other actors, I should say, on set? How was that experience for you? The experience, to be honest, it was amazing. The crew, everybody was really, really nice. And they always cared about you. And even, like, when you were in the trailers, they would be like, May I invite you to the set? It, it was, they, they were very, very kind. It was the best crew ever. And 
one cool story is the the five kids like me and Elliot and the other guys all our last names ended up spelling out loops oh wow that's cool yeah yeah that was really cool really interesting and how did you balance school work uh, work with working on the film or was it shot during the summer how did that work um we did have school work um we, we studied but it was in the summer okay got it and your previous acting experiences were in south korea and then in short films and on criminal minds and in what ways did those roles prepare you for this one well actually um the first uh the first film that i did in america was language arts but um i did many films in korea like variety shows and and different dramas and stuff i started acting when i was three and that definitely helped me get better and and like since i started at such a young age i don't really get nervous in front of camera and stuff so yeah that's that's good that's definitely something you should definitely cultivate from a young age very 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 good and what did you take from your previous roles um when you were you know kind of walking into language arts how did you what, what did you apply from what you've learned previously hmm. so i i when i get a role i've learned that it needs to be very deep study and I have to like, I have to make that character truly me. So when I was uh, studying language arts, deep study helped me a lot. Yeah. Great. And what did you learn uh, from working on language arts? Um, I learned that when I work in language arts, uh, hmm. I learned that uh, it's, I learned a lot about autism, like just how you should care and everybody, everybody is different and just a lot of symptoms and like what needs to be done to take care of them. Cause I watched a lot of blogs on like parents helping kids with autism too. So, yeah. Got it. And what do you think that audiences will enjoy most about the film? I think they'll enjoy the story of the autistic kid, Dana, um, learning how to speak and like other, other characters. It, it's a really emotional story, like an emotional roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Great. And what do you hope that viewers will uh, take away from the film? I hope that when they watch the film, though, if some people are thinking negative about people with symptoms, they'll learn that you should, you should help them and make them feel better and help them to be a great person. I love that. Well, yeah, thank you so much for chatting with me today, Lincoln. It's, it's been a pleasure. No problem. Nice to meet you too. Great to meet you. Yeah. Language Arts is available now on VOD, so look for it. I'm Ishan Mani reporting for Kids First. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications by hitting the bell so you don't miss my next interview or those of my amazing Kids First teammates. Bye!